हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ सिस्को पैकेट रेसर सीरीज एंड टुडे इन दिस सिस्को पैकेट रेसर ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन स्विचेस आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्विचेस एंड हब्स बट फर्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट इज स्विच स्विच इज अ नेटवर्किंग हार्डवेयर डिवाइस दैट कनेक्ट डिवाइसेस ऑन अ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क टू एस्टैब्लिश अ लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क एज वी नो हब इज आल्सो अ नेटवर्क हार्डवेयर डिवाइस that is used to set up a local area network and switch is also doing the same then what is the difference between hub and a switch the first difference is hub is a layer 1 device as per osi model and switch is a layer 2 device as per osi model second hub is a broadcast device means hub broadcast data that he receive on all other ports of hubs where switch is a multicast device means switch send data from one source to a particular host third in hub only one device can send data at a time but in switch multiple devices can send or receive data at a time and the main difference between hub and switch is memory hub has no memory and does not store any device information where in other hand switch has memory where switch build the mac address table and in that mac address table switch store devices mac address along with the switch port number and use that to transfer data now i will show you how to create local area network in cisco packet tracer by using switch so to do that we have to open the cisco packet tracer and from down left corner go to switch section then take any switch from here i always prefer cisco 2960 switch click on the switch and bring that switch into the workspace area now click on end devices and then click on pc i will bring six computer here 1 and 6 if you want to see how the switch actually look like we need to click on the switch and this is the front and rear view of the switch we can zoom in from here and here you can see this is a 24 port switch and these all are fast ethernet ports and these two are gigabit ports for uplink let me close this now we need cables to connect this pc to the switch for doing this we have to go to the cable section down here on left corner and then select this ethernet straight through cable now i click on pc1 select fast ethernet port and then go to switch and connect on port number one of the switch now i take a cable again then click on second computer fast ethernet port and then on switch port number two same way we can connect all six computer to the switch now you can see that all these computers are ready for communication because it is now in green color but this switch is not ready yet that's why it is in orange color it takes some time to turn this orange color into green it's done now and this switch is ready for communication to communicate we are required to assign the ip address to every computer so first let me assign ip address to this pc for that i click on this pc then go to desktop ip configuration let me assign ip address 10.10.10.1 to this computer and let me assign 10.10.10.2 to the second pc that is connected to second port of the switch 10.10.10.2 and i give 10.10.10.3 to the third computer this is 10.10.10.3 and 10.10.10.4 be the IP address of the fourth PC 10.10.10.4 and 10.10.10.5 for the fifth computer. This is 10.10.10.5 and finally it is 10.10.6 for the sixth PC 10.10.10.6. 10.6. Now we successfully assign the IP address to all computers that are connected to the switch. 
If you want to see the IP address of this fourth PC, let me click on this PC, then command prompt, and here I type IP config and enter. And here you can see this is the IP address of the fourth PC that is 10.10.10.4. .10 .10 now we will send a packet from PC2 to PC6. Let me take a packet from here and let this PC2 be a source PC and let this PC6 be a destination PC. We can see the result here and it shows that the communication is successful. In Cisco Packet Tracer, we have two modes of operation. This is real time mode and this is simulation mode. Let me click on the simulation mode and I close this one. Now let me take a packet again and let this PC2 be a source PC and this PC6 be a destination PC again. The IP address of this source PC is 10.10.10.2 and the IP address of this destination PC is 10.10.10.6. For better view, I write IP address of this PC 10.10.10.2 here and 10.10.10.6 here. This is just a label only. Now I click on this play button and here you can see the packet going from this source PC to switch and then switch forward this data to the destination PC. And reply is also unicasting from destination PC to the source PC. This is the working principle of switch. Now I will show you how to see the MAC address table in the switch. To do that, just click on the switch, go to CLI mode and press couple of enter and then type EN and enter. With this EN command, we are in enable mode now. And here we type the command show space MAC space address hyphen table and enter. The command is show MAC address table. And here you can see the switch MAC address table. As we know, all switch have some memory and they store this MAC address table in his memory. And here you notice we have only two MAC addresses and their port information in this MAC address table. Because only these two PCs send and receive some data from this switch out of all connected six PCs. When other PCs send or receive some data, switch store their MAC addresses also in his MAC address table, like this. So far, we have seen how to create a local area network using switch in Cisco Packet Tracer. Now at the end, to clear our concept, we will discuss the difference between a hub and a switch. A hub is a layer 1 device, it means it work on physical layer of OSI model, whereas a switch is a layer 2 device and it works at data link layer of OSI model. As we know, hub has no memory, so there is no chance for a hub to store the end device's MAC address. Whereas, switch has a memory, and it stores the end device MAC addresses in his MAC address table. That's why we can say, hub is not an intelligent device, because it has no memory, where in other hand, switch is an intelligent device, because of its memory, and switch forward data as per his MAC address table. Hubs always flood the network due to broadcasting behavior, whereas switch can do unicasting, multicasting, and broadcasting, depend on needs. Hub is a security risk device because of its broadcasting behavior, whereas the security risks are very low in case of switch. So we can say hubs are less efficient and switches are more efficient. And we know that hub always work in half duplex mode. It means hub cannot send and receive data at the same time, where in other hand, switch work in full duplex mode and can send and receive data at the same time. That's why switch are more efficient. And this is the basic difference between a hub and a switch. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.